I created this image by using PowerPoint. When I don't have a lot of time, I don't usually use Photoshop. I just use PowerPoint to make a quick and easy for, uh, images. What's worthy of notice is that this image here has a transparent background and you can do it by using PowerPoint. Earlier, I only thought I had to use Photoshop if I wanted to make the trans uh, background transparent. But guess what? It's possible to do it within PowerPoint. So here's my PowerPoint. I have images. So I created a slide with images and the text. And all I have to do to export this image without the background color, in other words, with the transparent background, is to select the whole image. I mean, select everything on the slide, right click on it, go to save as picture, and and save it as PNG file. And this is the exported image and this is a preview. The black color means that this is transparent. What you shouldn't do if you want to do a transparent background is to export the whole slide by using this default export feature uh, by going to file, export, change file type, image file type, and select and ping, save as. Just this one. So if you save the whole slide this way, the background is not gonna be transparent. So let's see, this is the image file I just exported. In the preview here and here, the background is white. What it means is that the background is really white. Another interesting difference between these two methods uh, is that the image size. So the first one with the transparent background, this one has a dimension of dimensions of uh, 2014 by 1146 and the file size is 817 kilobytes. What about the second one? 1280 by 720 and the size is 346 KB. So the second one is smaller, the first one is larger. In other words, higher resolution. Why is that? It's probably because I used the relatively large images to create this slide. But when you export the slide, uh, it's gonna be the default 1280 by 720, even though your original images are larger. So if 1280 by 720 is large enough and I want the consistent size and dimension for multiple images I'm creating with PowerPoint, exporting the whole slide is a better idea. But in this example, I want the transparent background and I want kind of want higher resolution. So this works, uh, this method works better. So it was my quick and dirty little PowerPoint tip.